Hello everyone, we welcome you back to our YouTube channel. Today we will be discussing 10 MCQ uh, on medical surgical nursing. This is NCLEX um, base MCQ. So the first question is which of the which statement below is incorrect about Alzheimer's disease? Alzheimer disease, which statement below is incorrect about Alzheimer disease? Option A, it's the fifth leading cause of death for adults over 65 years. Option B, Alzheimer disease is more likely to develop in men rather than women. Option C, most patients typically start showing signs and symptoms of disease after the age of 60. Option D, Hispanic and African Americans are at higher risk for developing Alzheimer's disease. Hispanic means uh, Spanish speaking people. So the question asked here is which statement below is incorrect. So yeah, uh, option A, fifth it is, yes, it is a fifth leading cause of death. So it's true. Alzheimer's disease is more likely to develop, to develop in women, not in men. So option B is a uh, right answer here. Uh, option C is a correct statement about Alzheimer's disease and so is option D. The answer is B. Alzheimer's disease is more likely to develop in women, not men, because they tend to live longer. All the other statements are true regarding Alzheimer's disease. Next question. This is also a question related with Alzheimer's disease. The exact cause of Alzheimer's disease is not fully understood. However, what two changes in the brain are found in a patient with disease? Select all that apply. Select all that apply. It might be only one question or might be uh, it might be only one option which is right or it might be two or maybe three. So or it might be four. You have to choose A, B, C, D or which one of this. Select all that apply, not only one answer or it might be only one. So option A. Uh, yeah, as we all know that uh, Alzheimer's disease is not fully underst understood whereas uh, there is changes in the brain and which is found in this patient with Alzheimer's disease. So option A, destruction of the myelin sheet on the neuron, development of beta amyloid plaques in between neurons, destruction of dopaminergic neurons, option D, creation of neurofibrillary tangles within the neuron so which one do you think is correct answer correct answer here is b and d there is a development of beta amyloid plaques in between neurons present in Alzheimer's disease and there is also a new fibrillary tangles within the neurons present in the Alzheimer's disease so correct answer here is b and d beta amyloid plaques and neurofibrillary tangles are found in patients with Alzheimer's disease Option A, destruction of myelin sheet happens in multiple sclerosis. So kindly note that myelin sheet destruction is happening in multiple sclerosis. And option C, destruction of dop dopaminergic occurs in Parkinson's disease. So all these are actually or all these are option are actually actually uh, neuro neurology neurological problems so next question this is also an uh, interesting question actually I've already discussed uh, this question in uh, my previous videos about this all these cells surrounding the neurons are cells that help protect its ability to function which cell type cells type provides safety to neuron by removing dangerous material that could damage the Neuron Option A microglia Option B ependymal cells Option C astrocytes Option D oligodendrocytes Correct answer here is A microglia In last video we have already say, explained that oligodendrocytes help in formation of the myelin sheet of CNS ependymal cells are uh, myelin sheet of PNS and that is it the answer is a microglia. These cells play a role in with inflammation, inflammation that is found in Alzheimer's disease. Next question: In Alzheimer's disease, this is also Alzheimer's disease. Which protein is responsible for creating amyloid beta peptides, which develop into plaques? Which protein? Tau proteins, 
PSP, which is post synaptic proteins, A, PP, amyloid precursors proteins, option D, beta synuclein, a correct answer has to be uh, A, uh, C, sorry, C, amyloid precursor proteins. The answer is C, amyloid precursor proteins, A, P, A, P, P are responsible for creating amyloid beta peptides. These small peptides form together and create plagues outside the neuron called beta amyloid plagues that impedes neuron conviction and causes death of neuron. Since plague since plague are formed in the neuron, so the communication is disrupted between one neuron to another. This is a question on myasthenia gravis. Myasthenia gravis occurs when antibodies attack the dash receptors of the dash. Which receptors it attacks and what does it lead to? Myasthenia crisis option A metatrophic and it leads to muscle weakness or nicotinic acetylcholine receptors leads to muscle weakness, dopaminergic adrenaline and leads to muscle weakness, a contraction, option D nicotinic adrenergic receptors and leads to muscle contraction. This is I think most of you might have known this answer. Correct answer here is B. It occurs when antibodies attack the nicotinic acetylcholine and it leads to muscle fitness so b is the correct answer uh, the answer is b in myasthenia gravis either the nicotinic acetylcholine receptors are attacked by antibodies created by the immune system hence by this is, is called this is also called as autoimmune disease or antibodies that are antibodies that are inhibiting the function of muscles specific kinase which is a receptor tyrosine kinase that helps in maintaining and building the neuromuscular junction either way this leads to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine from being able to communicate with the muscles fiber to make it contract so yeah this is the explanation of the myasthenia gravis next question We are preparing to help uh, the neurologist with conducting a uh, tensilon test. Which antidote will you have a hand in case of an, em of an emergency tensilon test? Uh, option A, atropine, option B, protamine, sulfate, option C, narcan, option D, leucovorin. Correct answer here is A, atropine, because why this atropine is an antidote for the uh, this hydrodromium. Hydropomium, because why in this we'll discuss about this tensilon test. In a tensilon test, also called as hydroponium test, is a pharmacological test used for diagnosis of certain neural disease, especially myasthenia gravis. It used to distinguish a myasthenia gravis from a cholinergic crisis. Myasthenia crisis from a cholinergic crisis in individuals undergoing treatment for myasthenia gravis you can read in wikipedia or any videos in details about tensilum test it is specific uh, is most of the time done to diagnose myasthenia gravis the answer i have just uh, said that it is atropine which helps in reverse effect of the drug during a tensilum test which is hydroponium in case an emergency crisis hydroponium is a short acting cholinergic drug it is a cholinergic drug and atropine is an anti-cholinergic drug. Cholinergic drug. Next question. This is actually a very simple question but uh, the way they frame it is a very long. So let's read about it. You started the first unit of PRBC. Packed red blood cells. On a patient, you stay with the patient during the first 15 minutes. Option A. You have to run the blood 100 run the blood 100 at 100 milliliter per minute and then increase the rate after 15 minutes if the right portion patient option b run the blood at 20 ml per minute and then increase the rate after 15 minutes if tolerated by the patients option c run the blood at 20 at 200 ml per minute and then decrease the rate after 15 minutes if tolerated by the patient option d run the blood at 2 ml per minute and then increase the rate after 15 minutes if tolerated I think um, all might have known this answer. Yes. 
as we all know that before started uh, PRBC we have to give a very slow infusion that is 2 ml per minute option D is correct answer to check if there is any blood reactions if there is in case any blood reaction if there is any patient is shivering or urticaria if there is any rashes present we have to stop immediately the blood this is a very common question as the answer is D the blood will be started on an infusion pump normally in hospital setting will connect it in a blood transfusion set not in a not at an infusion pump and if the blood is still rated by the patient it will increase after 15 minutes yes first 15 minutes we have to observe the patient should be with the patient just uh, to observe if there is any allergic reaction remember the blood must be transfused within two to four hours i think this is also common questions for how long prbc should transfuse should transfuse within two to four hours and the bag normally 250 to 300 ml during the first uh, 15 minutes is when the patient is most likely to have a transfusion reaction running the blood slowly during the first 15 minutes allow the patient to receive the least amount of blood possible if a reaction does occur next question the trachea this is actually anatomy questions about the trachea trachea splits at the dash to form the dash option a cricoid cartilage and form a secondary bronchi or a thyroid cartilage and form a primary bronchi or, a, or c carina and primary bronchi option d hilum or secondary bronchi correct answer here you see trachea splits at the carina and at the carina to form the primary bronchi this uh, simple questions which is the last question for today's gas exchange in the lungs occurs in the bronchioles al option b alveolar sinus option c alveolar sacs option d segmental bronchi the correct answer here is most of you might have tick a but no it's that's not the correct answer the correct answer here is c alveolar sacs thank you this is it for today kindly like share and subscribe